this week. I'm Seth Wayne in the Como Weather Center. 44, partly cloudy downtown now at 10.06 as we continue with 20 minutes of nonstop news. Boeing finally delivering its first KC-46 refueling tanker to the U.S. Air Force, but Almost Eric Hines explains why the Air Force isn't popping the court over the arrival. The delivery is 18 years overdue, and there are flaws in the aircraft's refueling systems. Air Force officials are not happy with problems that have surfaced during test flights of the new camera system Boeing installed for operating the tanker's refueling boom. Boeing agreed to make the needed improvements, and the Seattle Times reports the Air Force is withholding up to $28 million from the final payment on each of the 179 aircraft until Boeing makes the necessary adjustments. Eric Heights, Como News. CSA workers will get no paychecks today because of the partial government shutdown. Employees working security checkpoints at airports are deemed essential, which means they have to work without pay. Today, TSA workers are planning to hold an informational picket along International Boulevard and SeaTac, and on Saturday, they will hold a rally and a march from Angle Lake to SeaTac. Coles Ryan Yamamoto, a federal appeals court rules that a lawsuit against Washington State brought by the family of a Utah woman who disappeared nine years ago can proceed. The Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals reversed a lower court's decision dismissing Judy and Chuck Cox's civil lawsuit over the deaths of Susan Cox Powell's children. Josh Powell is believed to have